Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, today we are going to be doing something a little bit different, instead of playing Call of Duty World War 2, we are going to go back in time and check out the original Black Ops, a game that is having a strange resurgence here in 2018. I have been monitoring this game's player count over the past week or so, and for some reason, this 7 year old game, almost 8 year old game, is maintaining some pretty shocking numbers. So over the past week, the original Black Ops for Xbox 360 averages over 20,000 people playing multiplayer and 10,000 people playing zombies at any time of the day. It doesn't matter if it's 2 a.m. or 5 p.m. The game is maintaining those numbers pretty consistently across the board. This afternoon, there were over 95,000 total people playing this game, with 24,000 of them playing the normal multiplayer, 13,000 of them playing zombies, 3,000 of them playing wager matches, and the other 56,000 were floating around somewhere between campaigns, solo zombies, combat training, private matches, and things of that nature. It seems a little bit odd that more people would be in those modes as compared to the regular online multiplayer or zombies, but regardless, 40,000 people playing the online multiplayer of a game that came out 7 years ago is freaking insane. I decided to check out some of the other older Call of Duty titles today to see if there was a universal increase in average player count, but it turns out that the original Black Ops is the only game seeing a massive spike in users. For some reason, everybody is flocking to this game and I'm not entirely sure why. So Black Ops 2 currently has 23,000 total people online, with 18,000 of those players floating between multiplayer and zombies, which is about half the people that the original Black Ops has right now. Modern Warfare 3 has just over 4,000 total people online, with just under 2,500 actually playing multiplayer. Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2's player counts have been unfortunately broken for years, so we have no idea how many people are actually playing. World at War has 980 total players between multiplayer and zombies. How that game has fallen from grace, man. I remember when they first made it backwards compatible, it jumped up to like 10,000 people overnight, but but that's dwindled down pretty quickly. We now have less than a thousand people playing World at War. And finally, on Call of Duty Ghosts, which was the final game to actually show player count in the Call of Duty franchise, if we combine the players for Xbox 360 and Xbox One, we have about 4,800 total players online across multiplayer and extinction. So one thing's for sure, the original Black Ops is by far the most popular older Call of Duty game right now. The question is, why are so many people suddenly going back to play that game? What is causing this sudden resurgence? resurgence in player count. I have a few theories. Number one, it's a really good freaking game. Oftentimes people ask me, Nero, what's your favorite Call of Duty game? If you could only play one COD for the rest of time, what game would that be? And after a lot of thought and consideration, to me, it's the original Black Ops, with Black Ops 2 being a very close second. I did a whole video discussing this at length. If you guys want to check it out, I'll put a link to it down there in the description. But in short, I love the original Black Ops because it was the complete package. Multiplayer, in my opinion, was top-notch. The hit detection was questionable at best, but I really did enjoy the maps and the guns and the kill streaks. Zombies was fantastic in this game. I would argue Black Ops 2 and even Black Ops 3 did better zombies, but zombies in the original Black Ops was also pretty good and the campaign was one of my favorites of all time. I really do enjoy the setting. We've never seen anything like the Black Ops campaign before or after that game. Something that combines the Cold War with Vietnam with sprinkles of World War 2 in there. It was incredible and the setting really did resonate with me. The second reason why I think a lot of people are going back to play the original Black Ops is because Treyarch is releasing their new game this year, and there's a lot of speculation going around that it may actually be similar to the original Black Ops. It seems incredibly unlikely that they will follow Call of Duty World War II with another futuristic game. Despite Treyarch's futuristic game being widely considered to be the best of the bunch, I don't see them actually doing that, and I definitely don't see Treyarch making their own World War II game one year after Sledgehammer did. This means that their game is likely going to be set in the past, but after World War II, or maybe it'll be a modern game, but either way, the original Black Ops pretty much fits that setting, so perhaps that's why so many fans are going back. They want to prepare for Call of Duty 2018. And the third reason I've come up with is perhaps all the returning COD fans decide they want to revisit their favorite older games. With Sledgehammer bringing the series back to World War II this year, they also brought back a lot of old school COD fans who quit the series long ago for one reason or another. Perhaps those players have decided that now that they're Call of Duty fans again, they want to go back and play the games that got them into the series, or just revisit the games that they enjoyed playing back in the day. 
it's also possible that fans are burnt out on Call of Duty World War II. We talked a lot about that recently. Maybe those fans decide to go back and play the older games. It isn't exactly clear, but one thing is for sure, the original Black Ops is having a massive resurgence here in 2018, and it's not exclusive just to the Xbox and its backwards compatibility. These screenshots were sent to me by an old buddy of mine named Ghost619. If you guys want to check out his channel, I'll put a link to that down there in the description. But as you guys can see, the PlayStation 3 version of Black Ops is also experiencing a massive increase in player count, even though the game isn't backwards compatible on that platform. We have over 90,000 total players online, with 32,000 of them in the multiplayer, and 21,000 of them playing online zombies. Those numbers are freaking astonishing, and it really does go to show that a truly good game can have an active multiplayer even more than half a decade after its quote-unquote life cycle has ended. What do you guys think? Why do you think the original Black Ops is having such a resurgence, and also, what older Call of Duty game is your personal favorite to go back and play? For me, I enjoy most Call of Duty games, but I really do enjoy the original Black Ops, Black Ops 2, and Modern Warfare 2 over the rest of them, and of course, I'd love to hear what you guys think down there in the comment section below. But ladies and gentlemen, that's all I have for you here in this video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did, please drop me a rating, and I hope you guys all have a wonderful day.